bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I work for a Fortune 50 um, company as an insurance agent. I also rap. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I know you see rap. What else do you do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to travel a lot. I like to stamp my passport. I'm very adventurous, skydiving, jet skiing, whatever the world brings us. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is... Wow. Damn! A female, to be honest, a person that is in any type of entertainment industry, you know, for me personally, I see them as very unstable. And she is in the music industry, she's a rapper, so what that really lets you know is you're not gonna get a wife out of her, you're not gonna get a traditional woman out of her, you're not really gonna get anything stable out of her. So a lot of times females that are into these type of entertaining industries just know there comes a whole lot of problems with it. Okay. Y'all don't like to travel? I guess not. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? What do I look for in a man? I really like an outgoing guy. I'm a very outgoing person, respectful, um, emotionally intelligent, and I also like a man that makes as much money as me, or more. Mm, okay. Exactly. Nice. Get the bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers? <sighs> felonies, but the felonies as far as sexual, violent, small penis. <laughs> I'll be honest, sometimes when I see these guys lined up and they don't pop their balloons after females have said certain things, it kind of indicates to me that they just want to get some coochie. Because there's no way you're going to stand there and think, oh, I'm going to wife this female up after she says she's okay with felonies. As long as they're not essay or certain things and violent. Really, she will be willing to be with a drug dealer, someone that is robbed, you know, she didn't say, she she told you the criminals that she don't want, but then there's other criminals that she does want. And even when it comes to a man's body, my point is, I don't see any of these guys actually taking her serious, but that's how I see it. Deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Period. we did get- I'm just being honest. We did get a couple pop balloons. That's fine. Let's go ahead and they see why they ended up popping. Pop mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. And why'd you pop Dante? Don't don't get on the internet, bro. Um, spots on your stain in your little dress. I That's was in the bag drunk, so whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. You feel me? I it's fine. That. It's a $300 dress. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, it's the $300 dress. My bad. I got a little makeup on it. Just to show it's like... You paying attention to care stuff like that, you feel mm. me? You're trying to be presentable, just that, yeah. Okay. You feel me? That's Respect all. that. She's pretty, pretty. Gracias. She's pretty. Mm -hmm. Now, is he someone that's your type? Um, No, I'm not going to. Where are you from? From Michigan. He's from Michigan, and he has a cowboy hat on. No, I can see if he's from Texas or something. I feel like Southern boys wear the cowboy hats. I'm not a big fan of the cowboy hat. Y'all are so mean. <laughs> they got country boys in Michigan. <laughs> Anyways, next. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And I think you just had an unwelcoming demeanor. And that was it. We know why. I mean, you know, everybody popped their balloon, so I might as well be honest. I mean, I, I don't want to get into it, but I can understand why you would think I have an unwelcoming demeanor. But you're very handsome, Ryan. I love your dimples, but I'm actually very much a sweetheart. Next. No. Everyone, all the men that are standing have all popped their balloons. There's no day after this, basically. It's all just figuring out why they popped their balloons and what her response is and who her type is from here. Although she's clearly triggered as she's been rejected and <laughs> it only just begun. To a lot of females, they can't take that lightly. Females don't take rejection lightly. And in this case, it's in front of a camera and she really thought she was that it girl and she's not letting that idea go that's why she's walking and talking like that because in her mind she is in denial that she's been rejected she still wants to be the body that she thought she was okay. <laughs> name and age and why you ended up popping 
Chris 27. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't do no skydiving. You know, I'm, I'm scared of heights. Mm -hmm. And so I had, I had problems in the past. With my last girl, she was tweaking with me. So I didn't want to do the little, with the, uh, the Superman thing in Vegas. We then broke up over that. Yeah, it was bad. Okay. Okay. And you said your name is? Chris. Chris, so you pop my balloon because you don't like skydiving? You said you like doing adventure stuff, skydiving, what'd you say, jumping out of airplanes, uh, roller coasters, I don't do that. I mean, but she asked me what I like to do, she didn't ask you what you like to do. But I mean, I understand if you don't like skydiving, we could've went on a nice dinner date. You're very handsome, I love yes, the his pants, I got a couple pair myself. Mm. I like the outfit, you know, I don't think you, I think you're gonna regret popping your balloon, but I understand if you don't wanna go <laughs> skydiving. Everybody need a woman to get them out their comfort zone. I don't know why she keeps saying that they're all going to regret it. They can ask for their balloon back. So clearly they're very, um, they've made their mind up basically. They don't want to go on a date or even consider going on a date with her. Also, the fact that she said they asked her what she likes to do. Well, he has every right to pop the balloon based on what she likes to do. Because that's how you're going to know if you're compatible by understanding what can we do together and what do you like to do because in the future that will cause issues if you both don't have similarities or things in common sometimes that can cause rifts in relationship as i said she is not taking a rejection very well and it's slowly just getting worse the more she opens her mouth the worse it's getting so now, apart from her saying, you know, the skydiving, whatever it is, is she someone that is your type? Yeah, for sure. Okay. You know, I mean, I, I like the demeanor. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. That ain't a problem with me at all. Mm -hmm. I like the demeanor. I wouldn't make you skydive. If you said no, I would take no for an answer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you can follow my Instagram. I think I can get you to skydive. You think so? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel a little vibe here. You want that balloon back? He don't gotta take his balloon back. We not begging. Let's go to the next. Oh, no. We're not begging, but he looks like he's feeling you, girl. He it's looks like cool. he's if you don't want to skydive, I understand. But you gotta get out your comfort zone. You gotta explore different things. You gotta enjoy your life. You young, so. Hey, you ain't lying. Yeah. You're good. We gonna move on then. <laughs> All right. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is John. I'm 31. Mm -hmm. And I popped my balloon because you came out a little aggressive. You feel me? I like femininity. I'm not saying you're not feminine, but your demeanor, maybe it's the liquor, you feel me? But No. And I think we're from the same city, and I'm mm -mm. not trying to date no women from that. So. Oh, you from Indianapolis? I'm from Indiana. Oh, so. my gosh, I love that. So, first of all, what side of Indianapolis are you from? From the east side. What part? Uh, Arlington. You from Arlington, like 46? Yeah. 46 in Arlington. All right, shout out to the east side of Indianapolis. Shout out. If you're from Indianapolis, you know why I'm like I am the way I am. I'm from East Side. I mean, aggressive is crazy. Femininity is crazy. I feel like my hair is done. My nails is I'm done. I'm not saying you're not feminine. I said, but you came out a little aggressive. Did I like, cuss? You was on a de defensive mode. No, I think you guys all look handsome. I just, I'm just very like, this is my personality. I don't feel like I got to tone down for nobody. But I respect that you want somebody that maybe you can run over. I mean, this is a great example of a female being very defensive from the get-go because every guy that has something to say she has something to say back and it's nothing wrong you know having your response but they won't regret it oh you want someone to run over are you insecure i can make you change your mind why can't you just accept that you got rejected instead of be so defensive about it having to fight what their opinion is what their type is having to put down what they saw instead you rather put out there what what you want everyone else to see and what you want them to see it is very she is very defensive and she is very masculine just because you have weave and dress and you've got your nails done doesn't change the fact that you can be masculine masculinity yes to some sense you can look masculine but masculinity isn't just about how you look it's also about your character, how you speak, how you think, how you move. Even your body language can be very masculine for the weave and the nails and the lashes and the dress. And that is her. Beyond her physical looks, her body language, her characteristics and how she talks and is, is very masculine. Not like that, but. but you're very handsome. I love the slugs. I'm from Indianapolis. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm from too. the east side of Indianapolis. Actually, I'm from 
Well, maybe like, we need to link on some friendship shit. Though. Friendship? Yeah. I don't think I want to be your friend. You embarrassed me on public YouTube <laughs> with 1.5 million people. But I think that if you go home and then you mention my name, I think that you'll be presently surprised. Like, I can't talk, but anyways, you'll be <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I think you will actually hit me up after that. Right, well, you're very it. handsome. I love a chocolate man. Love your dreads. You look good. I like the Jordans. 10 out of 10. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Uh, I'm Trey, 25, and I believe our, our temperaments would clash. Uh, the personalities that we have. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, of drunkenness in public. <laughs> or okay. Just the idea of, it's just how it comes across. It's not, I'm not mm -hmm. tagging you with that. I'm just saying that's how it came across at first. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's really it. I believe, I believe you're actually beautiful. Thank you. What kind of favorite Glorilla? That to me. That's why Glorilla is crazy. I think Glorilla is beautiful. I'm dark skin. I think more like Kelly Rowland, but I appreciate the compliment. That's that's fine as well. Gracias. But but that's really it. I just believe our temperaments will clash. That's okay. All. Okay. No, is he someone that's your type? No, he's not my type. Okay. Why you not? Know, I I just don't think I would like to be out on a nice dinner date or skydiving with somebody that ha wears pearls. I'm not drunk at all. A little tipsy, you know, they gave me some drinks in the back, but I feel like I'm really put together. I feel like I'm carrying carrying myself classy. But if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I don't like the pants, I'm gonna be honest. I think that since you're light skinned, you should have worn something a little bit more, less olive. But okay. But you're handsome though. Thank you. Love your beard. I love the earrings. She I think the gold looks Hold on. She <laughs> called it a beard, y'all. Yeah, I think I think for a minute. Think, it's a beard I, now, you didn't. I think that honestly, opposites attract. So I feel like if you feel like our temperaments would clash, yeah. I feel like you should get a little bit more confidence. I don't know. I That's think what you, you be doing. I, I think that you should maybe date somebody that is more out there and get you out your comfort zone. I appreciate the input. Yeah. Thank you. A lot of the men have spoken about her drinking and being drunk and it's not attractive for any female or woman to be drunk when you are going out on uh, dating events or dates in general, meeting someone, talking to someone, whatnot. I guess because it's on YouTube and it isn't really somewhere where you think you're gonna find someone to take serious because I don't think a lot of these people even take each other serious but if you're going to go out there drunk just know that you've made yourself less attractive to men and vice versa if a, if a guy came in high it's gonna be very unattractive if he came in smelling like weed and maybe you can you can see maybe a little wrapper in his pocket that's very unattractive so we have to look at it like that. She came in drunk. She has um, some stains on her dress. That isn't going to really want, make a man actually want to pursue anything from there. As that's the first impression you've come with. You're welcome, handsome. Huh? Yeah. Start over here. Mm -hmm. Your name and age and why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm so sad. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I popped my balloon. I just didn't like the going back and forth with people. It's just not for me. That's all. Okay. You're very pretty. You know. Gracias for the compliment. Thank you. I'm not going to say it's going back and forth. Going back and forth sounds more like an argument. I feel like you guys stated your opinions about me and how you felt. And I feel like I gave you my opinions about y'all. I don't think it's a go going back and forth. I think that we're all adults and we should expect, um, respect each other's opinions. So, I mean, if that's how you feel, that that's a red flag to me. Because imagine if we didn't agree on something and I said what I said and you said what you said. Now you feel like I'm going back and forth like a kid. No, it's just, we just disagree. But I respect that. I think you're very handsome. Your hair is curly. You look Thank good. You. Thank you. I like the shirt. Where you get it from? My mama. Your mama. mom. <laughs> Bless your mom. She's a great mom. It, it's nice. It's well tailored. No, it's real Taylor. I like the gold. I like that. You, you look good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's go to our next guy. Mm -hmm. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? I really want to know. Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Mm -hmm. uh, really, uh, to be honest, man, the physical attraction just isn't there. But I was going to give you a chance. I was going to hear you out. You know, it's not, I mean, you don't look bad at all. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, you know, you look pretty good. But then you said you rap. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really cool with that. And all the traveling and stuff. So, like, the rapping, the traveling, the mm -hmm. being out, it's just. I don't like a busy woman like that. That's too, doing a little bit too much. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's understandable. Like, pretty much, it went back and forth almost every dude up here. No. So I feel like it's kind of a little argumentative a little bit. So like, I can see us being out on a date and you going back and forth with a waiter because something ain't cooked right. Or, like, wow, so you think I d uh, disrespect uh, civilians and people that serve other people and do their job? I, do civilians. I mean, right now what she's doing is nip 
picking what he said because overall what he said about her is very true she did actually disrespect a lot of those guys because she didn't like what they said she did that even her facial expressions is very disrespectful so yes i can actually see her disrespecting someone even in a setting where they're in a restaurant and she don't like something she will disrespect you because that's exactly what she's doing he only stated her behavior and even then she doesn't want to accept that that's your characteristic this is who you are and this is how they've all taken you they're civilians but they all gave their opinion on me and what they didn't like about me and i gave my opinion about back but i'm just saying it was real like it was it was pretty strong like it wasn't it's really i'm not saying you don't have class but i'm just saying it wasn't like classy like how you okay yourself i'll wait till he's done it's but, my turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, physical attraction. So what's the physical attraction? I would love for you to get in detail. I mean, it's just not like if, if I seen you out in a grocery store in a mall or something, I just like, I mean, you, like I said, you don't look bad. I just wouldn't really approach you like that. What's your type? My type? I mean. Yeah, <laughs> I would love what you are physically attracted to since you're not physically attracted yeah. to me, which I'm not really. I mean, I like, I like natural hair. Uh-huh. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep it real. It's not so much like be honest. You can be pretty, but like the way you carry yourself can make you. I ain't gonna say ugly, but it can all that go out the window. So you felt like I carried myself okay, aggressively. A little bit. I, like I said, I don't know if it was the the drinks, but it was. No, this is it, how okay, I am all the time. It wasn't pleasant. I say that. It wasn't pleasant. Yeah. Do y'all all feel that way? Yeah, I don't see no. Boo. She is clearly having a hard time accepting that all those men are just not attracted to her also having a hard time with the fact that she isn't his type and when females talk like that for me I, I, I scrolled through her Instagram and a lot of these females are so used to just getting bare attention bare guys sleeping around that when you're faced in this predicament where there's a row of guys who just don't want you it's a hard bullet to chew especially when females get attention for just waking up and opening their eyes and they don't have to do anything for it and they let that get to their head which is why she can't fathom in her brain why are you not attracted to me and because she's so argumentative she's looking for a reason to even argue with him tell me more about what you don't like about me tell me more about what all of you don't like about me because i have something to say about it that's her attitude and none of them are attracted to that they're telling her what they're not attracted to and she still can't accept it i feel like y'all i feel like y'all intimidated i feel like i'm a very pleasant person i feel like i understand the physical attraction me too i pay attention to detail i feel like you're dark skin your hair is pretty you got a nice look to your you know face whatever yeah, appreciate it, appreciate me it. personally i wouldn't put on no dolce cabanas because i feel like they played out because i'm into swag or whatever the case may be that's all good i feel like my attitude is actually very great i feel like any man that dates me is going to be overwhelmed with me just supporting his confidence and me building him up i feel like that if you guys don't like a woman that likes to have a conversation or maybe disagree every once in a while then y'all should reevaluate reevaluate yourself um also as far as you saying that i'm the type of person that you feel like if we were outside in a waitress or a waiter um said that i got into it with them or whatever you said i'm sorry i was kind of listening um i think that is very um i don't know word i don't know how to describe it but i mean i go on five star dinner restaurants all the time people make mistakes i'm not gonna fault anybody or be disrespectful because they make mistakes but if somebody says something to me i am gonna speak my mind and then i'm gonna give my man a chance to give me their opinion and i'm gonna go back head on back all right well that is all the balloons popped mm -hmm. but we do thank you for coming on thank let's you. go ahead and give it up for her guys i'll take this mic oh <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay girl you better walk <laughs> every time females don't have anything to say or can't take any criticism or they're in denial or they've just simply been rejected and they don't like it it always comes down to the man is intimidated none of them looked intimidated they just weren't interested females now will call man anything if they're just not interested in her you're not confident you're not masculine you're intimidated you're insecure insecure <laughs>
because you don't want her because you don't want to have anything to do with her because you don't want to sleep with her because you don't want to entertain her because you don't want to be with her this is females today either you don't like her or there's something wrong with you and yet yeah, she's not defensive she's not argumentative not aggressive i mean this is black females today in 2024 this is who they are this is what they do and females in their own way fall under this umbrella when a man tells you especially a black man when a black man tells you what they think and what they see about you he is the problem not the problem that they're talking about i'm your hostess remnant princess these are my last thoughts i mean this female clearly couldn't deal with the reality of being rejected by every single guy in less than a couple of minutes see females can't take rejection even though they do get rejected because there's many ways you can reject females and a lot of them just delude themselves into thinking that it's something else but in this case it's in your face you can't hide from it there's no denying it there's no making excuses for it the guys have popped the balloons because they don't want you and you have to chew that bullet and listen to every single one of them tell you why and she couldn't bear it she couldn't bear it she couldn't deal with it let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye